Good afternoon. Welcome to Denmark's second city, Aarhus. Let's go on a Danish adventure. Aarhus River. That looks interesting. I see some people walking around up there and all. Let's go. I didn't realise it was a museum. Ten floors. Plenty to see. I'm heading straight for the top. Oh yes. Glorious views over the city here. Psychedelic. Cathedral there. I'll be having a look at that. He's behind you. <gasps> Got a slither of a sunset. Can't really see it very well on the phone. There we go. Beautiful. Very subjective art. I mean, what is that? That is rubbish. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I'm just going to go and get a bit of something to eat. A couple of drinks. See where I end up. Good morning. So let's start the Danish circus show of finding the highest points. Plural. So this is Yiding Skovhog which apparently is Denmark's second highest natural land point somewhere in these trees <sighs> so this is it the top is actually an ancient burial ground of Yidin Skovhov and this is 173 metres but the Danes being very particular, because it's uh, man-made, this is actually 173 metres, but the natural land is 170.77 metres, making it the second highest natural land point in Denmark. Right. Let's go and uh, find the other two. Yeah, there you can see the measurements there. <laughs> Someone's having a laugh here. So this is the third highest natural land point in Denmark. Iha Bavenhof. And they even went to extremes of building a tower on this one, Danish flag flying at lot. 
and this is only 170.35 meters. It actually says 170.95 meters on there. Hmm. Some discrepancies here. So at the top of the tower, looking north. Ost is east. Vest. And I believe that's where the actual highest point is. Past them farm buildings there. You can see Yidin Forest over there where that uh, burial ground was where I've just come from. Reminded me a bit like doing catatopsis in farmers' fields, disputed high points. And this is actually the third lowest the European high points. It's only the Vatican and Monaco that's lower than this. And all three have got signs claiming to be Denmark's highest natural point. Now we can see the millstone there marks the top of Mollyhog or Mill Hill, the English translation. This is all we need to know. In 2005, received the official status as Denmark's highest natural point, 170.86 meters above sea level. <laughs> there we go, lad. This boy don't mess about. If in doubt, do the lot. Some uh, cows there. Just see the top of the Danish flag from Iha Bavanov, where I've just been. Highest point in Denmark. Danish topper. So the actual highest point in Danish territory is on the Faroe Islands. That's a crown dependency of Denmark. Like the Isle of Man with the UK. And as you know by now, I'm doing the mainlands. And this part of Denmark is uh, continental Denmark. It's made up of uh, other islands, but most of the main ones are connected by road. And uh, I have been to Copenhagen before, a long time ago, to watch uh, England play football against Denmark, which they lost 4 0. Good win last night, though. Beat the high ties 3 1. Get in, boys. Just back to Iha. Bavenhof now, got some uh, 
so when Jones playing that. Oh look, they even had a different ice point until 1847. Himmelbegert. There you can see for Ia Bavanho, 170.35, even though the stone says 170.95, I think. They've confused things, haven't they? So welcome to Den Gamel Bay. Let's have a journey back in time through Denmark's history. See the Aros Museum where I were yesterday. Through the gap. Yeah, I've just been for looking all them uh, buildings over there. It reminds me a bit like Mr. Straw's house at Worksop. All from the like early 1900s. Very good. Very good that. So much to see and do. Could have spent all my time in there like. cold and windy today. I'm just going to enjoy the last few hours in Ox. So we've got a couple of trees in store. It's Aarhus Cathedral. It's the tallest, longest church in Denmark. I think it's about 96 metres high, that tower.
the city again.